let's say you just bought a brand new Lamborghini and your neighbor has one. That's not cool, right? I mean, you've spent a lot of money on this car. So how do you pop it? How do you make it more than just another Lamborghini, especially here in Miami where they're, diamond dozen probably isn't the right word, but there's a lot of them. Well, one way is to get an artist to paint it. And this is part of the Miami Auto Show's Cars Meet Art Exhibit. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. I'm Jesse Knight. All right, Jesse, tell me what you're doing on this Volkswagen. Um, I'm gonna make a cute little beach cruiser. Uh, it's gonna be lots of colorful patterns, mix, uh, mix and match, it'll be really cool. So you might be wondering, how do you actually paint on a car? Because painting on paint, not so good. Well, there's a secret. All these cars are wrapped, making them an ideal canvas for all these Miami artists. And um, tell me about the fact that this car isn't being painted on, right? It's wrapped. It's wrapped, yeah. Um, this is really common these days. It's a really fun way to do events and uh, it's a great surface to paint on. It's really smooth. And, um, what's gonna happen with the car, do you know, after you're done with it? It's gonna actually be on display at the dealership at South uh, Volkswagen. And tell me about yourself. How long have you been doing uh, um, graffiti? Well, I'm not really a graffiti artist, yeah. um, but I do some of these like live events sometimes. I show in galleries. I just came back from a tour of Europe all summer, and now I'm back home in Miami, just uh, getting ready for season. Tell me about the inspiration for this car. All my life I love the cars, so, so I, I always paint something. Uh, uh, in Cannes I was invited by the film festival to do some basses, so I paint basses, and when I arrived in States, I, 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 I start to, to, to get some sport cars, and I, I, I start to do a Ferrari a 458, after that I did a deal with the Fort Lauderdale Lamborghini. What was the inspiration for it? Why did you decide to do a pattern like this? Why? Because the car is it's very um, strong. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I want to do more powerful. So I do a, like an abstract painting. To, it was fun. And how long does it take to do this? How long does it take you? I, I do the painting. It's, it's, it's uh, easy, easy. All the process is one week. And what's it like to actually have a car as a canvas? It's really fun. Why is it fun? Why is it more interesting than like a regular canvas? Um, well, you just take different things into consideration. I like to, especially because I'm painting it live, I like to do things that are, you know, adjustable to the size of it. it, doesn't have to be totally perfect. Things that are just fun for the public when they come and interact with me. Um, so it's, it's really different than my studio practice. And uh, what's this? I'm not going to be here. So what's this going to look like when it's all done? You said it's going to be a beach car, but what's? Tell me what's in your head. Well, um, this whole main part of the car is going to be like some kind of '90s style geometric patterns and circles and squares and triangles and little zigzags. And I'm going to do some text on it. I always do text on my work. And then this whole bottom half here, the wheel covers and the front and back. That's all going to be a different pattern.
And of course, the really cool part about all these art cars, it's not just about the cars, it's also about the artist and their work. So come check it out at the Miami Auto Show if you happen to be in South Florida this weekend. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news views and of course, real world reviews and art cars. Ciao, see you next time. You saw it first on the Fast Lane Car.